So how many of you are hitting the beach this weekend with Memorial Day coming up? You can expect to see a lot of law enforcement out there in Pinellas County, making sure everybody's keeping their distance and staying safe. But what happens after Memorial Day weekend? 10 News reporter Liz Birch spent the day learning about the delicate balance of keeping beaches open and keeping you safe. Oh, yes, I think it's been a success so far. It doesn't mean it doesn't come with a little you know, stress or anxiety for a police chief. Clearwater Police Chief Daniel Slaughter says Clearwater Beach hasn't reached maximum capacity yet, but there have been days when it's gotten close. They've had to close off entrances, but he says they haven't had to cite or arrest anyone for violating social distancing rules. He hopes they can keep that up this weekend. Yeah, in our uh, stretch of our public bathing beach alone, it's, uh, it's, it's um, about 15 to 20 police officers and then a significant number of civilian support staff as well, uh, what we call the ambassador program that we had put out previously. Uh, so we have that along with our lifeguards. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office had 300 deputies patrolling the beaches over Mother's Day weekend. They scaled back that number this past weekend, cutting back to 125 deputies, but they'll ramp back up to 300 again for the holiday weekend. It'll be up to the sheriff to figure out how to continue enforcing social distancing on the beaches after that, and he'll make those decisions based on how well things go over the holiday. I can tell you that I am happy and glad and more than willing to put forth this effort that we're putting forth uh, to make this successful. But this is not sustainable forever. We can't do this with hundreds of deputies out there and continue to do what we do throughout the summer. Clarita's chief says he'll keep additional officers out monitoring the beach through Labor Day weekend. And they've been doing a good job of that so far as well, keeping an eye on everybody, making sure they're staying distant. We asked who would actually make the call to completely shut down beaches if that were to happen. The sheriff's office says that would actually be up to the Pinellas County Board of County Commissioners, but say they're doing everything they can to make sure that that does not happen.